Android is the most customizable smartphone operating system in the world. And the hardware of the new Android devices gives this uh, customizability new possibilities. When you search on the Google Play Store for the keyword launcher, you're gonna find a ton of choices. Go Launcher X, Nova Launcher, Apex Launcher, ADW and uh, others. But the one that really took my attention is Smart Launcher. When you first install Smart Launcher and uh, click on the home button, you're gonna uh, be asked for uh, complete an action using and you should choose Smart Launcher and then always. Then it will ask you for a fast wizard. As you can see, the launcher did a little setup and uh, took uh, the applications that I choose and put them into here. This launcher looks nice and clear. Everything looks nice and clear from the well placed clock here up top to the flower of six favorite applications to the uh, app drawer icon placed on the bottom left corner. You've got this flower of uh, six favorite applications that you can uh, launch straight from the home screen. For example, let's launch uh, the music application, and as you can see, it got me to the music application. Let's launch, uh, for example, the browser. And if you tap and hold anywhere in your home screen, you should choose Android Smart Wallpapers because this launcher comes with a set of four wallpapers that you can choose from. Set of if I want to get to the app drawer, I can tap on this icon over here or I can uh, do a swipe from uh, the left edge of the screen and as you can see, all of my apps are uh, filtered by categories. Here is uh, the category communication and I can get to the other category by uh, tapping on it uh, here is internet I can check all of the apps in internet or here up top you've got uh, three icons the first icon is uh, the search icon I can tap on it and then it will give me a set of uh, letters and I can tap on a letter and it's going to take me to all the uh, applications that start with this letter the next icon is uh, dedicated for uh, Google Play Store and I can go straight to the Google Play Store from the app drawer. And the last uh, button is the menu button. I can tap on it and then go to preferences. Here in preferences you've got a lot of sections but uh, the real preferences are just the three first sections. The three last are just to vote on the Play Store or uh, by the full version or uh, check the version info. The first uh, preferences uh, section is settings and if you get into settings you're gonna find settings uh, global settings and uh, uh, there are a lot of settings like uh, status bar visibility and screen orientation and others then you've got uh, clock settings uh, which are the, the settings for the clock widget and in the home screen and last you've got uh, the flower uh, settings uh, that are settings dedicated for the six uh, five rich applications uh, I uh, flower Next, you've got uh, personalization, and here at uh, personalization, you can choose your uh, theme or uh, change your clock style and your uh, flower style. And there are lots of uh, personalizations options like uh, the drawer theme and uh, the drawer transition effects and other uh, settings for. Uh, the next uh, preferences section is uh, widget support, and uh, wi they will uh, tell you that uh, widget support takes. Uh, 10 to 20 megabytes from the RAM and if you try to enable it they will ask you to buy the pro version unfortunately I didn't buy it and uh, if you buy the pro version you're gonna have widget support and you can have widgets uh, in your uh, home screen in conclusion I really recommend this uh, launcher because it's uh, indeed smart and it is smart because it lets you launch your favorite applications really fast and at the same time, it filters all of your applications so you can get to them faster. That was the Tech Boost channel. That was a video review of Smart Lunch.